welcome to Roger Bro Gamer YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple, easy dual streaming PC audio with voice meter right after this. All right, once again, thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. Uh, and I also have a, a couple of streaming that I do on twitch.tv forward slash gamer. Just check it out over there. That's pretty cool. Come to hang out with us. So today we're gonna, I'm gonna actually show my settings for what I do, uh, what I stream with the dual PC. Uh, I use the voice meter, which is uh, very good for actually sending an audio to another uh, PC. In my case, I'm sending audio from my streaming PC to my gaming PC and my gaming PC to my streaming PC. I'm going to show you how my settings are and why I chose those and how that works. So you can also copy or if you wanted to follow up with me here, I will show how that works. And uh, so far it's been working really good. Um, no problems at all. I'm very satisfied with the outcome with this setup. So it's a very simple, easy. It's not complicated. Just follow with me and I'll show you. So let's start first um, to tell you is in my streaming PC, what actually I have plugged in or actually what I use for uh, in my stream PC is the sounds of the alerts of uh, the alert sounds uh, goes in there and I send to my gaming PC. What, what happened is I use my headphone on my game PC so I can hear everything from the streaming PC. So on the streaming PC, you're gonna be using your micro microphone. I suggest to put your microphone on the streaming PC. That way you, your microphone and your camera synchronize in there. So your camera on the streaming PC, your microphone and the streaming PC. Also, uh, your music uh, or Spotify. Um, also the Discord on the streaming PC and uh, and uh, also of course the alerts will be there. With this voice meter on there you're gonna send everything to your gaming PC and you're gonna hear everything in your gaming PC with your uh, headphones that you choose to, uh, to wear. Now the game PC the only thing you're gonna do is gonna send the game image to the streaming PC so that way in there with the of course with the audio and everything you're gonna send that to uh your stream that you know what are you gonna stream in a platform twitch youtube whatever the platform you're gonna choose so let's go ahead and start on the gaming pc all right so we're here in the gaming pc and uh, uh first thing before we get voice meter we need to download voice meter so we're gonna go to the website here uh you're gonna go and look for vb-audio.com and uh, you're gonna, uh, this page is gonna open up and you're gonna click right here in the middle. And you're gonna see different uh, type of softwares here. We got the banana voice meter, which is a little bit more simple. Um, I, 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 it's very nice as well, but uh, what we're gonna use is the potato. So you're gonna click in the potato because it's a more, uh, give you more channels and everything. Don't get intimidated because what we're going to set up is very easy. Uh, we're not gonna use it everything. You can actually play around later on and if you want to add more stuff on it At least you have uh, the capability to do that instead of banana only have um, Just uh, less channels over here on the input and uh, Also on the virtual input. So let's go to the potato. You click on the, here on the potato You're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna see those two types of five uh, ways to download uh, I usually download zip files right here but you can actually do the zip file or install the zip install as well uh works fine so like for if you're gonna go and click install right here uh it will it will open up in a second two thousand years later not coming in all right so yeah it's coming in right now so i already download but you know the process to download you go ahead download the the, the um you're gonna download voice meter you're gonna click here to set up 
uh, this is coming up and here is gonna is gonna say uh, install instead of remove because I already have it so uh, you just go ahead click install and once you do that um, you uh, you're gonna have to do this in the, the both computers you're gonna do this in a gaming PC and a streaming PC um, once you download you go ahead and restart the computer uh, once you restart the computer you're going to you're not gonna see anything down here you're gonna come over here down and gonna look for voice meter and now uh, as you see right here you see voice meter potato what you do what I've been doing to my computer you can also do the same is uh, pin to a uh, he's here on pin because I already have it here just pin to your taskbar so always being here down here and then when you click it will uh, it will come up right there okay now uh, now one thing I want to uh, let you know is once you got this when you got the voice meter right here before anything uh, that we're gonna use and put it right here you have to go uh, you have to go to uh, go to sounds this you gotta do in both PCs, okay? You gotta do in both PCs. Like I say, install, um, restart your computer, uh, put the the voice meter, open voice meter, put it right here on a ta on a on a task bar, so make it easy for you to open up and that kind of thing to check. Uh, over here, go to sounds settings, and in both right here, okay, an output and an input. Make sure that you have um, an, an output. Make sure it's always in VAIO, V-A-I-O, okay? Input, V-A-I-O, and an input, you're gonna put output, V-A-I-O, right here. You gotta leave always like this, okay? Um, over here in your uh, right corner, just sound control panel, click in sound control panel, and you wanna to, uh, you're gonna have uh, those those uh, those voice meter inputs right here and I believe when you download you will have a, an input cable as well but what we're going to actually select here the default device you need to leave on voice meter input VAIO remember this is important and the default communication device you're going to leave in voice meter aux input okay so those bolts have those bolts right here as in your uh, playback needs to be like that on the recording section which is where you're going to use your microphone what you're going to do is you're going to leave <coughs> you're going to put the def default device on uh, voice meter via uh, via VAIO as well right here just like this okay uh, your your microphone <clears throat> I didn't actually even uh, select my microphone over here at all uh, it works like that's fine so you don't have to select your communication over here okay so you're just gonna leave just like that the way I'm saying I'm, I'm showing to you is, is the way that's been worked perfectly fine with me so you can just copy the way it is right now okay so just click OK um, and down here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it I always checked I'm gonna just uh, make sure you see right here for a second um, make sure as always in both computer is voice meter input VAIO right here always okay if it does if it is come when you load when you load in your computer okay when you load your computer and it's like uh, uh, in a different source just always make sure there's an aux um, make sure that's always in a uh, voice meter input voice meter VAIO always okay so here on a on a on a voice meter potato there's uh there's three main parts that you wanted to actually look into is this part right here this part right here which is um uh, the hardware input where you can uh actually put uh your microphone whatever but uh, right now i'm gonna show what i have here for first 
You can put a couple things over here. I have not been using that for anything else. Like I say, I set up very simple. Um, over here is what is uh is the um is the uh is the is the virtual uh input as well. And this right here is the hardware out. This is where you select your uh your headphones, your speaker, your video, uh, your gra uh, your capture card, that kind of thing right here. So let's start with uh, and I, this part right here. I really don't mess anything at all. Uh, if you wanted to go ahead and look into it, you know, equalize stuff like it, but I don't really uh, change anything over here. So just leave it like it is. Um, and uh, just leave it as like it is as if you can cop just like that is fine. So over here, what I do, what I done, what you gonna do here first, um, just in the first uh, right here on the first input device, just right click and just put a uh, streaming PC for you because you're gonna see why. Just in the first right here, put the streaming PC because what's gonna happen is. Uh, this this uh this right this channel right here is where you're going to receive the alerts from your streaming pc remember we are in the gaming pc right now so you're gonna receive your alerts or any sounds from your computer from your stream pc right here and now you're gonna leave as a1 because if you see over here you're gonna select here what kind like uh, uh what kind of device you want to hear on your um in your gaming pc so right here i selected my uh my uh, headphone and under a1 if you see right here see a1 and i select always the wdm that's how i have right here on the second one a2 is where i receive uh sounds to the video card this is my graph uh my video my capture card i'm sorry this is my capture card Leave in A2 if you do have just for A2. And then the third one is cable input. I explain later why we put a, 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 a cable input. I really don't use right now, but you'll be able to use it. I'll, I'll explain later on the video. Okay. So once you set up where you want to hear, you can even put a four like a, a speaker if you want. Okay. Uh, but I, I just use one headphone on my game PC. Uh, that's how I've been used. You can also put another type of ear earbuds or something like that. Okay. So what this letters here, a one, two, three, and four and five correspond where you want to hear the sounds. Okay. Uh, that come for, for example, the, the sounds that come to, from my ear, uh, from my stream PC, I want to be able to hear it in my, my earphones. So I select a one which is a one right here. That's all. I don't need my video card to hear that or another source. Um, over here, go ahead and name uh, this. This is going to be like a, it's going to be with no names here. Just go ahead and right click. Uh, I, I, could, I put over here, just go ahead and put a desktop slash game or something similar like that. Just to know that this is from your desktop. This is for your game desktop. This is your sound. From your game is for whatever you listen to your for your game PC. Okay, uh, over here, I, if you see here, I select some equalizer as uh, for myself of uh, my um, my taste. So you can actually equalize the way you want here. Okay, um, you can copy if you want, or you can just mess around to see, to see what is better for you. Uh, over here, I select Discord. Just uh, just put right here Discord right click and type discord you'll see why and over here i have uh, my music which i use spotify for my background music you can use whatever you want uh just name it the way you want it over here if it's spotify or another source okay so this is the channel of music this is the channel for discord when you want to hear or talk to somebody on the discord and this is for your game we will hear your game on your gaming pc okay over here, I uh, select A1 and A2. <clears throat> the reason why I did uh, all this is A1. So I can be able to hear music, somebody in Discord, music, somebody in Discord, or my game. So always an A1. If you see here, A1, that's my uh, my headphone right there. A1, the first one. Now, here I select A2 because I want uh, the sound of the game 
goes to the capture card. So I can send that to my stream PC through the capture card. Okay. So just put A2 right here. If you have a, uh, a capture card, if you do not have a capture card and you do this with NEDI, I have a video on my channel as well. Just check it out for NEDI uh, streaming using two laptops. Uh, you're probably going to use an NEDI uh, source to send to your streaming PC. Okay. So, but this one here and this method I'm showing with the capture card. All right. So, once you do all this right here, okay, uh, you basically complete all the setup here, make on the gaming PC on the voice meter potato. All right. Uh, before we move to uh, to the, the streaming PC, just go ahead and this is going to be not highlight. Just click it. Okay. Uh, and turn this on. Just turn on for now and close. Okay. And now we'll come back here and explain how you're going to transfer the sounds from uh, the gaming, the streaming PC to the gaming PC. Okay. So over here, uh, one thing I want to notice as well, when you first download this program, okay, it's a free program. It's a, it's a, it's free program. You don't pay anything. You're going to have a here a new register, uh, uh, software or something I forgot what it come up here say unregister please donate in the next five hours whatever you can actually use this for free it doesn't it doesn't stop you or just it doesn't take you any uh, any features from this uh, software however every five hours they're gonna pop something over here saying if you want to donate it uh, you, you take it to their website and you kind of choose how much you want to donate it so I did because I think it's it's pretty solid program and you know they are not asking for your money to do you can use it for free it just popped that with a little window right here asking for that every five hours so uh, just so I'll let you know um, when you download as well but like I say you don't have to pay to download only after you use it if you want to donate to the group that's great then as well okay all right so once you do this all set up like that okay uh we're going to move to the streaming pc where we're going to set up right now so right now let's go to the streaming pc all right so we now on my streaming pc right now so i just open up a voice meter right here uh before we start to get on the settings right here real quick i want to point one thing that i wanted to show you which is you're gonna go over here and, and click menu okay and make sure you have this and auto restart auto engine the reason why is uh every time you open the, your pc it will restart to make sure that all the settings are in place otherwise you have to rest click over here restart audio engine all the time if you got any problems with audio for some reason this also where you want to do you always restart audio engine sometimes it does like oh i'm not hearing the game or it's not it's not pop some sound or something just restart the audio engine and it will fix that as well okay um so over here i put this i select those two right here i show my game pc is something i'll select over here I can't really remember, but that's it. Make sure of that. And also over here, VBand, just make sure you open and click on, okay? So over here, uh, that's where we're going to capture the sounds to send to the gaming PC, all right? Um, so what we're going to do, uh, we are going to actually, uh, over here on this uh, section right here, we're going to actually um, select this first channel and you're gonna type streaming laptop in case I'm using a laptop with streaming PC right here okay that's where you're gonna capture the the sounds from your uh, from your uh, streaming PC uh, YouTube alerts so this is basically where the alerts gonna come uh, come into it okay I could put alerts but I just type streaming laptop but you can put alerts over there all right um because when you open your ubs uh, obs studio or or stream labs when it pops that sound you know your stream pc is gonna capture that sound and gonna this is where you're gonna send to your gaming pc so you can hear your your uh, alerts all right so just uh right here just uh label that 
um and over here uh the b1s b1 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 b2 and b3 if you see right here is where you're going to send out your audio okay so select b1 okay i explain why we're gonna put b1 just select b1 here for alerts or the streaming laptop discord in the middle okay so you're gonna go ahead and uh uh, right click and type discord or your chat they use it here and you're gonna click you're gonna select b3 okay b3 right here uh, my levels of volume is like that but uh, you can actually play that around for yourself this is when you're gonna hear your uh, this is for you for example the music i uh, spotify i put a little bit lower so i can kind of hear the music a little bit lower than uh you know lower from for myself when i play i don't need that too loud you can put, put too loud if you want it is only for you not for the people on the stream on obs when you put that channel right here on the stream then you kind of set up the how loud you want it for the for the stream to be okay so for now uh you just go ahead in this one here put whatever so if it's spotify or another source of music right here but this is music background music or something like that now if you notice i have not put my microphone on either uh either boat voice meter i don't use my microphone on voice meter the reason is i uh i use a straight when i go to the obs studio i actually uh Put my microphone straight to OBS Studio, and in there, I have uh, some filters that actually uh, work pretty well for me. That I don't have to route my sound anywhere, so I use my microphone straight to OBS Studio. Over here, I only use for uh, game sounds, Discord, muse, ba background music, or any other sound. But that's it. That's why I put that kind of simple for myself. Uh, you can put your microphone over here. On this part right here and you can add your microphone here as well and that's fine it's up to you but i usually i usually only use that that's why i think it's very simple for me to use it if you want to cut it's really good as well it's worked perfectly fine um it's because if you put a microphone over here you know uh it works better it, it doesn't work as much when you put it straight to obs and then you can download some filters I'm also gonna do a video about just those filters that I use that's really good um, in the next video, a very short video about just that section about the microphone, why I don't use it here as well. So when you do it, just uh, over here, uh, your background music, make sure you put B2, okay? So this one, B1, B3, and B2. And we're gonna send all those three audios right here to the game PC. So you can hear your background music, so you can actually uh, hear uh, when you talk to somebody in the Discord, okay? And when you uh, when you want to hear your alerts, this is mostly for the alerts, okay? For when you're streaming. And uh, over here, and the A1, A2, the only thing I select here is in my computer speakers, okay? But if you notice, I don't put nothing to hear on my computer or my laptop, my streaming PC. Because I don't need to hear nothing from here. I don't. I didn't connect in no earphone on the game on the streaming PC. Okay, I'm just sending the audio out. That's what I'm using this for. Okay, I didn't touch nothing over here. This is all completely empty. And okay, and then the next part now I'm gonna show you is the V band. This is how you're gonna send your audio through uh through the ethernet through the network okay uh one thing to remind you make sure you're connecting those two pcs to the ethernet not by a wi-fi you can use a wi-fi but i highly recommend to do ethernet because it's faster it's more reliable it's gonna work work much better um so you're gonna click in vpn okay and the first thing you're gonna to write it down is this right here you're gonna probably have a different uh, IP address. So uh, write it down this IP address, streaming PC IP address, okay? Because you're gonna use this to add, to put on a gaming PC, all right? So write it down this, 
and you're gonna send audio out so outgoing streams okay so what are you going to do you're going to uh you're going to turn on one two three okay i'm gonna turn all those three first right here all right and you're going to do is you're going to, to pull uh you're going to select here bus one bus b1 okay bus b2 bus b3 and you're going to uh name exactly exactly um you don't need uh, actually you don't need it name exactly right here okay i name a little bit different because i just want to put desktop audio but you can put alerts okay but just put uh if you want to copy just copy that way because the desktop audio because this is my desktop audio and include my alerts okay so i i i uh, i type desktop audio okay and uh and uh, music and discord okay those three right here now this ip air uh, ip address right here is from my gaming pc okay uh my gaming pc when you open v uh vband will have this also uh ip address which is this one right here so um i forgot to to let you know uh, to do that when you go to game pc make sure you write it down when you open vband to write it down a um a ip address from there because you're gonna put right here so this ip address is from yeah just to making sure this ip address right here is from my gaming pc so you're gonna put the ip address from your gaming pc here because you're gonna send the sound there okay so Discord, music, desktop audio, and you put all those three, the IP address from your gaming PC. Okay. Over here, I select the 48,000 uh, uh, Hertz. That's fine. Over here, make sure this optimal. Okay. It's going to be probably in different, different category right here. Just, just make sure that's optimal. Okay. That's the best uh, quality or the best, uh, best, best way to send it. All right. Just leave optimal. Don't touch anything else, which I didn't. And that's it. So make sure you have this IP address, write it down now. Uh, and uh, make sure you got this IP address from your gaming PC. I'm gonna show you right now, going to a gaming PC, uh, which is this IP address right here that I put it. Because you're gonna put in a streaming PC, you're gonna put the gaming PC IP address. And the gaming PC, you're gonna put the streaming IP address, okay? So let it let it thing on right here. Close it and let's go to the gaming PC again. All right. So in the gaming PC, right here, uh, you're gonna click on VBAN. Okay. So this is the uh, IP address that uh, it was on a streaming PC. So I forgot to tell you, but uh, just make sure you got write it down this too. So this was on the streaming PC when you're sending the out here, okay? The audio over here. So in this right here, you're gonna turn on one, two, three right here on an income stream. Uh, I think before you turn this on, when you turn this on, you, you will have uh, three streams detected and then when you click or something, right click, I'm not sure, because this is kind of new. Uh, when I did this, you didn't have it. It will auto populate what is picking up from your streaming PC, but anyhow i i type this exactly the ways on a stream pc like uh, when i type over there desktop audio if you notice that's capital d capital a and audio type exactly the way it is because if you don't it won't work okay so exactly the way it is desktop audio from streaming pc music from streaming pc discord from streaming pc remember that i did not copy what i wrote here i did i copied discord but music, if you see here, is Spotify. It doesn't matter if you're gonna put music instead of Spotify or whatever. You don't have to match this. This doesn't have to match this. As long as this match what you put in the stream PC on VBAN, okay? So once you do that, you turn on, you put a desktop, music, and Discord. This IP address is from the streaming PC. You're gonna put this IP address 
from the shrimp you see in each one right here you're gonna have a, like a, a kind of green light right here you're gonna leave this the way it is and over here also you're gonna put optimal for all of those because i think it's gonna be fast so just click and change for optimal okay um in a destination that's where you need to find out or you're gonna look uh, this is this is gonna make a lot of a lot of difference okay so destination means where uh where you want to this here to be here okay where wh where do you want those sounds when it come from the stream pc to um where do you want the destination on your gaming pc voice meter potato okay so i choose my desktop or my uh sound alerts on in number one which is input number one which is right here I'll show you right here this right here this is desktop audio from a streaming pc that's why i, 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 I label right here a total label streaming laptop this is my income from my laptop audio which is my alerts so i'll be able to hear in my earphones right there so you're gonna put right here in one because you got a lot of options here. See in one, two, three, four, five, which is one, two, three, four, five, and a virtual uh which is one, two, and three. See? One, two, and three, right there. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and all the way around. So okay. Alright, so on my music, which is right here, Spotify, number three, virtual, virtual in number three you see in a discord i put virtual in number two which is right here in the middle once you do everything the way like this just like that close it you're gonna leave it this on in both pcs regardless you're never gonna turn off okay you'll be able to hear your streaming pc uh for example i will put a um, I'll put right now something on, let's say, uh, something on on a YouTube right now, for example. On the YouTube right now, I'm playing myself here. So you now you can hear right here that's come from my streaming PC. So that's working, okay? And uh, that means that the uh, alerts are gonna come through you uh, to your headphones as well. So once you do this. Uh, the Discord, you can actually test with somebody in the Discord, but this is actually another thing that I want to show you, the Discord settings. Let's go back to the streaming PC. All right, so we are here on the streaming PC back again. So the Discord is, uh, when you open your Discord, okay, you're going to go here on settings, and you're going to go to voice and video. Go to voice and video. Now, this is how you need to be set up on voice, um, uh, the voice meter with your Discord. You're going to have to uh, just select here uh, your input device, which is your microphone that you're using. Okay, so that's fine. My microphone is this one that I'm using right now. And the output device, you need to be set up to voice meter aux input. Now, why you need to set up in, uh, voice meter aux input? because your discord if you put right here is in voice meter aux input okay that's why so once you do that in your uh on your discord close it and you're good to go to stream and talk to your friends okay so it will be able to hear they will be able to hear you because the microphone is in the stream PC and you're going to be able to hear him then because the sound from the Discord is sending to your gaming PC in your headphones through a uh, V-band. Okay, so basically is all that. And um, once you do all that set up, you're good to go. You're basically good to go to actually and then you what you're going to do, you're going to import uh those audios uh the music uh to your obs or stream labs now uh when you input your uh music for example spotify in my case you're gonna select on uh let me see over here if i can show real quick um 
let's see if you want to select uh, the music right I already have here music but if you want to select music okay uh, you're gonna go and select audio input capture right so audio and then when you put it I already have right here my um, I have a let me see maybe it's not that it is probably audio output that's right yeah audio output so when you do out output right here okay i already have but i'm gonna create another one just so i can show you and a device you default you're gonna actually choose i'm show you right now here spotify and vio 3 see right here vio 3 so you're just gonna have to find we're gonna look down here which one is your uh input cable uh input a uh, device uh, you input name right here and then you're gonna choose right here see it is input vial 3 right here see voice meter vial 3 input this is what you're gonna select to send the audio from uh, to, uh, to your obs uh source and when you do that then you kind of calculate how you want to how high you want the, the volume that's how you put every single of those source to your OBS. Okay, I will get I'll, I'll, I'll get into another video talking about the microphone. I'm gonna go more in details in that part. All right, so this is all my setup for audio using voice meter potato using both PCs for stream. Um, hope this tutorial help you to actually set up all your audio for your stream as well. Um, the description below I'm gonna put all the I'm gonna put as well the website so you can click is a link so you can go ahead and just download the uh, software as well and the, uh, just write it down in the comments below if you have any issues any you know if it worked for you uh, just share what your experience with this also software um, is uh, like I say it's free to download you don't have to use any other expensive equipment to do that kind of thing that kind of audio uh, you know um, uh, that kind of audio for a new stream so um, then also if you like this video if you like other videos as well just subscribe to the channel help the channel grow as well and we come up with the next video as well very shortly so thanks so much for watching I'll see you on the next video